uh, Tawheed means maintaining the unity of Allah in all of our actions, our thoughts, our worship, in everything that we do. And especially in those things which are directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should be trying to make everything we do somehow directed to Him. But at least in those things clearly directed to Him, that unity must be maintained. And those things which we haven't directed to Him, uh, the issue of unity of Allah may not obviously arise in, in our eyes. But in the end, in a subtle way, it's there. You know, and we should strive to look into all of the things that we do. The clothes that we wear. How we wear our clothes. You know, because fashion is the thing which we tend to be caught up in. A person may say, well, how does fashion become ibadah? Well, the Prophet ﷺ said, Man tashabbaha biqawmin fahuwa minhum. Whoever imitates a people is of them. So it means that if we dress in the way, in a way which is unique to the disbelievers, then this becomes a form of uh, disobedience to Allah. Because the Prophet ﷺ warned us to not be like the disbelievers. We should distinguish ourselves from the disbelievers. So in that way, it is a subtle way. It's not obvious. You know, it's not prostrating, you know, making sacrifice. You know, that, that's obvious. But this is a much more subtle way in the way we dress, in the way the lifestyles that we live, how we organize our homes, how we, you know, deal with our children. There's so many different ways that we may not understand or we may not see in them ibadah, but in fact, there are elements of ibadah or worship in every single thing that we do. And that is the beauty of Islam, that it covers everything that we do. There is guidance for us in everything we can even think about. There is guidance. It's in the Quran and it was lived in the Sunnah. Love. Love.